this video will just cover two things that you need irrespective of your relocation route irrespective of the plan irrespective of the country you just need two things and most times i see that people miss out they have other things apart from these two things and when you don't have these two things okay it's going to be is it normally is tough but it's going to be very very tough okay it's going as long as you're leaving your comfort zone there would be challenges okay so i want people to know that the natives of these countries that you're going to some of them are still struggling their struggle is everywhere okay the challenges that people face during relocation entirely is peculiar to their different situation okay? there's no need of speed in the wrong direction discourage you i'm just here to pump you with that energy that you need and that's that first step that you need and so that you know that you're not alone hi guys <laughs> hello blessed people thank you for tuning in so if this is your first time seeing me my name is chine i am a nigerian vlogger based in ireland and if you're an old subscriber <laughs> thank you for stopping by i know it's been like three months since i posted a video i have a lot of videos i'm trying to edit but life has been life in it just looks like over here for some reason 24 hours is not enough i don't know just a lot to do with kids and everything so yeah it's, it's freezing it's really cold so yeah that's we're already in winter that's why we're just up like this okay down to the video guys so this video is actually going to be like one of the fastest videos that i have made because it's just an inspiration that came into my spirit i have been seeing videos that are encouraging discouraging not so good and very good videos so i'm just here to talk about just two things i've been in okay let's take it step at a time <laughs> so i'm here to talk about two things um two things that you need if you want to relocate just two if you have these two things pack your bags if you have if you have done these two things guys pack your bags so by the grace of god i've been in ireland for five years i've been here since 2018 i had my two children here I came to Ireland um, through the joint spouse visa, thankfully. <laughs> but then again, okay, there are different pathways of coming to Ireland, okay? Not just Ireland this time. So I, I'm talking about relocation. So there are different pathways that you could use. You could come through the student route, permanent residency directly as it is in Australia and Canada. You can come through work visa as it is everywhere. You could come through global skilled you know because right now the world is looking for healthcare tech and all of that so you could come through different ways but the jack is the fact that you're leaving your home country anywhere in africa anywhere at all because people are even migrating from europe to north america from europe to australia and all of that as long as you're leaving your comfort zone there would be challenges okay so what i see online is people just come in and explain all they have been through so it varies someone that came in through student visa would definitely have a different experience and different challenges from someone that came in through work visa and just as it is with somebody that came in through spouse visa like us or somebody that just came in through even undergraduate and postgraduate ways like it's different okay so i need you to know that all this video will just cover two things that you need irrespective of your relocation route irrespective of the plan irrespective of the country you just need two things and most times i see that people miss out they have other things apart from these two things and when you don't have these two things okay it's going to be is it normally is tough but it's going to be very very tough okay it's going to be the challenges that people face during relocation entirely is peculiar to their different situation okay having said that i just wanted let's just have that for context okay so there are different there are different challenges okay 
so this video will just cover two things that you need irrespective of your relocation route irrespective of the plan irrespective of the country you just need two things and most times i see that people miss out they have other things apart from these two things and when you don't have these two things okay it's going to be is it normally is tough but it's going to be very very tough okay it's going having said that before we continue i also want people to know that the natives of these countries that you're going to some of them are still struggling for example like in ireland here there are some people that are born in ireland that have lived here all their lives and they're still struggling they don't have good jobs they are living paycheck to paycheck there's some people in canada that were born there and they're still struggling there's some people in america they're still struggling there's some people so that's to tell you that struggle is everywhere okay it's not like there's any country you go to and from and from and from the airport you're being given access to almost everything I, i've not heard of that kind of country if if that exists please let me know in the comment section so that meter will go you know so people are still struggling okay so these two things now don't skip we're, we're coming somewhere we're, <laughs> we're coming somewhere so these two things the first one is what is god as cliche as this may sound as to some people is boring any god that you serve is your first need if you want to make any kind of super move because relocation is not just carrying bags you're carrying your life you're carrying something that you're used to you're leaving your comfort zone no matter how how you've been struggling in your home country that's where you have lived you're coming somewhere that you don't know anybody the first thing you need to put in your back is god if you're a muslim you carry your god if you're a christian you carry our god you carry jesus if you don't serve any or you're not a christian you know, just carry what that supreme being am i doing that thing that you believe in carry it and put it in your bag and let that thing let that god be your source when i say your source i mean it should be your source of happiness it should be your source of patience it should be your sustenance it should be like i don't know i don't i don't know how to explain it <laughs> god should be your source you know what that helps you to do even if you have family members in where you're going to this is an entirely new place for you it's a new big step that you're taking even if you have family members you don't you're just seeing them on instagram like everywhere here is so beautiful you know you could stand anywhere and take pictures and it's good lighting they don't have red sand they don't you know everywhere is cha 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 you know and you're judging based on pictures you have seen on instagram or when you see them back home forgetting that for people to travel back home from here is like a big time investment so apparently you start from january and start putting money together putting money together and maybe by august or september you buy your ticket excuse me you buy your ticket and you already set out that money that you're going to be spending that two weeks in nigeria I, I i was in nigeria last year i'm supposed to do a video to show you how i i spent two weeks in nigeria it was an expensive trip i've been to france this year and i didn't spend half of what i spent in nigeria so literally you have to plan before you move to nigeria and then people see you in nigeria see you spend money and they think that's how it is they, they forget that you have to plan for a very long time before you can make that kind of move so what am i saying in your pictures your or maybe in instagram and everything you're judging maybe the family members that you have here based on all those things that you see but you don't know in depth what they are going through and that's what you're going to find out if you come over here but if you have god as your source you would meet challenges and then you go back to your source if you have god at, as your source you would not have that let's say you have family members you will not have that expectation and entitlement so if you come and even you have hosts that host you you go to canada and people can host you in their houses and you know you would not have that feeling of ah, why are they doing like this why would they not give me this why would they not give me that now wow now you know god is your source do you understand you come here you see everybody that even help you as somebody that god is using to help you 
you come here go, as god is your source god directs you to the right people you are the right place at the right time i don't want to be preaching here because i was here i said i was here <laughs> english is a problem oh jesus i've been here for five years i came to even meet my husband my husband to the glory of god were comfortable you know but for the fact that you're leaving you're coming to a new place you have no friends my husband was my only family i came pregnant so the 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 loneliness you can just be unhappy you don't have food to talk to and as much as whatsapp is good whatsapp is not real like to to have hand gestures and all of that hug people and stuff so you'll be lonely and if you go to the internet now you see so many people crying oh they're lonely there it's understandable but if god is your source i don't i don't just know like sometimes i'm unhappy and then you go back to god god i'm unhappy help me you know you could even cry in the shower and you come out you feel stronger because it's actually it's actually a struggle that you have to go through it's like you have to pass through that face no matter what but what will help you through that face is what i'm talking about there are two things be it australia canada anywhere you're going to god should be your source and trust me it's going to help you i hope that makes sense this video is not going to be long number two is two in one research and planning many reasons like when i watch videos i see people are like they are shocked do you understand they are going somewhere and they are shocked oh my god why is it like this why is it like that and all these things are on the internet you're going for a student visa let's say you're going for a student visa even over here or you're going for a student visa in canada some some countries allow the students to work as much as you you want some countries allow the students to work just 20 hours a week just like in ireland and i think canada have started doing that again 20 hours a week and you get there and you're now confused like 20 hours a week might not give you the kind of money you're thinking you're going to get if you had done the research i know people pay agents and stuff but even if people are doing it for you read about it understand what is going on there it's going to it's going to help you very 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 well research and planning research and planning goes a long way to deal with your patience as well i see people that will just come like thankfully thank god for my husband who was also very encouraging to me and everything you know i think if you if you're just new here you can check out and um, come to work with me so i used to work in the bank in nigeria and i'm working in the bank now it's not like um i knew anybody no if you if you research about a country that you're coming into you research what works in that country there are some countries that if you're in healthcare, you're you're making it. You're you're in America, you're a nurse, you're good. You're a pharmacist, you're good. You're in Canada, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a IT, you're this, you're good. In some other countries, some parts of Canada, if you're into oil and gas, you're good. Do you understand? So if you know what works there, and if you're somebody that you just want to go somewhere and you want to get into the system, when you get there, you have to now struggle. To do what works there but all of this falls under research like in my case now using myself as an example when i got here my husband encouraged me we read i had to read as well you know in my own case it's not book it's it's marriage so if you want to come in and start and maybe you want to work you want to do this you want to work in the banks you want to do like that you have to check what works you have to check what programs you have to take and it's not it's not a work in the park i had to take these programs maybe while pregnant or while while um having a, a six month old baby or whatever but it was very very inconvenient but because you have a plan if you're looking at the goal you you would you would ignore the suffer that you're doing here because the truth be told if you're comfortable here the system doesn't make you so rich okay but if you're comfortable you're going to be happy here because there's security there's everything so it's the struggles of being comfortable and when i watch people's video i see people that are str struggling and they maybe they don't know what to do or anything so if you're watching this video and maybe you're already in Nubudoibo and it's confusing please use this as a message this is actually a message i don't know why it's my spirit this is a message to just say that nah, nebiko, 
go and start because there's no need of speed in the wrong direction go back to the drawing board go and hold your god as your source for everything and then research and plan based on where you are or based on where you are going so people are in uk now and that's not where they want to be but you're not going to plan it some people are even in saudi arabia now and that's not where they want to be. that's not the end goal don't get comfortable in struggling people are making it here people that are immigrants are making it here but the first few years is not easy so what happens is people come in and maybe they don't have it. even so people will finish their masters and they're still doing maybe jobs that they don't like and all of that it's hard sometimes you have to do some some courses you have to go back to school and do some things and then you have to apply before i even got this job that i did i don't know if you want to see a video on how i got my job please <laughs> because i'm trying to come back to this youtube thing but i'm actually confused on what you guys want to see and all of that i know how many applications i had to write i don't even want to say i did less than 50 because it's a lie if you have a plan you know where you're going even if you're you're schooling and working you know you know where you're going I don't know if that makes sense anyway i just had to take this off my chest if i go inside <laughs> oh god see i'm taking this in personal okay guys so that's just what i want to say because um if you open the internet now a lot of people are relocating which is good you deserve something better if you have it in your spirit if god is telling you to relocate if you if you feel like that's what you should do is good i'm not here to discourage you i'm just here to pump you with that energy that you need and that's that first step that you need and so that you know that you're not alone the struggles especially in the first few years is a lot but if you have these two things and you know where you're heading to it's just a matter of time you will get there but the issue is some people get to that place that they are struggling and they just remain there and feel oh that's how it's supposed to be and when you call them because it's their experience they keep saying oh but it's hard it's a bad decision it's not a good decision for me it's not a good this one it's not if you plan if you had had god number one and you had planned you would have known from nigeria if this place is going to be for you because this place g -g -g, is not even for <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's not even funny. It's not for weak people, though. Hey, you be see me to do video, no grief. <laughs> it's not for weak people. You will do work. You will take care of children. You take care of this. You have to be self motivated. You know. So, but if you do research, you know that here yeah, is not. Your mother is not here. Your father is not here. Your sister is not here. Your brother is not here. So. If you want to do something you have to be somebody that they don't need to push up you have to be self-motivated if not here go tire you excuse me here go tire you do you understand but if you're coming through joint spouse you don't even have you don't even have choice if you're already married and you have to come here and join your spouse i'll just say you should start preparing that country your spouse is now start researching because that's what i did start researching on it because but if you're coming student all those other things please hold these two things and if you relate to this video if i'm making any kind of sense or it's making any sense in your head please write it down in the comment and please write also what you want what you want to see and if you want to see how i got the job or maybe the courses that i took if you want like how i got that just let me know okay guys so yep i just this has been bothering me for like god knows how long <laughs> <laughs> so i just had to do this video okay thank you for watching bye